good morning good afternoon and uh, good evening based on the time you are joining this online lecture it is important that you participate on this lecture series it is going to help you it will help you immensely never you think that whatever we have done in this place whatever we've done now whatever topic we treated on this platform will be treated again no we can never go back better participate on this lecture it will help you now another uh, important announcement which i must uh, make available is initially i informed you that you will not pay for textbook this period because of uh, the uh, sit at home or pandemic issues the coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic of which I have also decided to inform you again that if school resumes there will be need for you to have your test book or your course material therefore I urge you to do the needful, pay for your course material, pay for your course material, that is the textbook, pay for your textbook. The information available is that school will soon reopen, so if school reopens, very soon it means we shall be using our test we can cost material do the need for and pay for the test because the semester may be too short too short so you need to do everything be ready and be prepared always Pay to Arabi Hope Mianga. All right. Previously, um, we were able to discuss about the element of effective broadcast and news writing. The element of effective broadcast news writing. But we shall be uh, discussing today about the broadcast news about uh, the broadcast news the broadcast news we need to understand the news the broadcast news there are almost as many definitions of news as there are journalists but all of them would agree that an event itself is not news. It is report of the event that is news. I want you to take note of this. I said that it is report of the event that is news. Definition of news may vary, but all must point towards a same point. News can be defined as an account of a recent event or happening, or a recent discovery of past event or happening that is of interest to the reader, viewer, or listener 
as the case may be. From uh, this definition, a proper understanding of uh, the keywords, that is the concept and phrase, we threw more light on the meaning of news. Okay, and let's see the account. If news is an account, it is a report and requires that the fact be gathered. In other words, news is gathered before presentation. Therefore, the gathering of news and a subsequent presentation is reporting. Now let, let us check this word recent. News must be timely or fresh. Anything stale is not news. Remember stale news? Yes, it is not news. In journalistic jargon, we say that news must be fresh, hot, juicy, and palatable. <laughs> In other words, news is. In other words, news is new because the audience is getting the information for the first time. Event or happening. Event or happening, that is another one. This helps to understand news. Something must occur for it to be reported. Something must occur for it to be reported. Like the idea says, no event, no history. So, no reporter should come back empty-handed from his beat because occurrences take place every day, every hour, every minute. It is the ability to detect the newsworthiness of such events that matters. Discovery of past event. Yes. Okay, let me let me recap the previous. I said I'm talking about the event or happening. The event or happening. I said that this helps to understand news. Something must occur for it to be reported, like the addresses no event no history so no reporter should come back empty-handed from his bed because occurrences take place every day every hour every minute it is the ability to detect the newsworthiness of such events that matters now let us go to the discovery of past event discovery of past events Sometimes events or happenings might have occurred in the past, but it's been discovered at present. For instance, if fat image now that Stella Obasanjo was shot dead by security operatives and did not die through plastic surgery, it is news. Do you understand? Somebody just, uh, a news just emerged that Stella Obasanjo was shot dead by security operatives and did not die through plastic surgery. Uh -uh. It is news. It is news. Pure. Pure news. Alright, let's continue. Our happiness must be things the audience desired to know have appetite for or things they should know all right we have different types of news of which before now i know you have gone to most of them during your uh, nd courses but here you have a fresh knowledge of them yes 
types of news. Basically, news can be categorized into three groups. Into three groups, and uh, uh, the three groups are hard news. You, st you have the hard news, soft news, and investigative reports. Investigative reports, yes. Hard news, soft news, and investigative reports. Hard news, hard news, hard news. This uh, is basically contains uh, the following news. This basically contains the following news element. So that's who, what, when, where, why, how. I said the news element. The hard news contains the following elements. Who, what, when, where, why, how. They also embody the third four of the five traditional news values. You know them? That is the, the timeliness, proximity, prominence, and the Consequence. Consequence. Also, uh, they have they, they hover around important public events. They hover around important public events. Like government actions, international happenings, social conditions, yes, there are many. Economy, crime, business environment, and science. Hard news has significance for a large number of people. Yes, it has news. It has many significance of a large number of people. I'm talking about hard news. I said it has significance for a large number of people. Let us proceed. Now, the next one should be at, at the soft news. Soft news. Soft news. All right. Soft news. This is also referred to as future news. This is also referred to as future news. Future news. I'm not talking about future. Future got me right. It covers a wide territory. It may not be as timely as the hard news and may not have much importance to the well-being of the audience. It generally appeals to the curiosity, sympathy, and uh, amazement of the audience and relies majorly on human interest. Human interest. Human interest. Yes, it majorly on human interest. They are entertaining and the audience likes them. It concentrates on one or two of the news elements. Investigative report is another one. Investigative report. Investigative report. Investigative report. I, yes, uh, this requires extraordinary time. It requires extraordinary time and energy. Most day to day reporting involves investigation. 
Let me still recap. Most day-to-day -day reporting involves investigation, but a, th a true investigative piece on at significant information about matters of public interest. It offers an in-depth analytical and interpretative report by delving into the background of an event and predict the future of that event. Yes. I think you, you can understand more about investigative report, what it entails. It offers an in-depth analytical and interpretative report by delving into the background of an event and predict the future of that event. Yes. Um, the, the news department, the news department is another thing we look into. The fact was that from the yardstick for considering an event worthy of reportage are referred to as news determinants. The factors that form the yardstick for considering an event worthy of reportage are referred to as news determinants. They also include the elements that must give the necessary information about the news event. Yes, the element that must give the necessary information about the event, about the news event. Now, the following determinant, or oh, you said the following determines, determine what and how news should be, how news should be, news value, the properties and uh, characteristics that guide reporters and editors on what events should be covered and what stories should be published are news values or news judgment. They are called news values or news judgment. Listen again, I say, uh, the properties and characteristics that guide reporters and editors on what event should be covered and what stories should be published are news values or news judgments. They are those factors that determine the worthiness of news. We have traditional or orthodox news values which includes timeliness. News must be served fresh, 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 fresh. News must be served fresh. Stale news is no longer news and therefore not considered for space or time in the media. News must be correct. Thus, the reporter must consider the newness of an event. The more new news is, the more eager listeners and viewers become to know about reported events. Proximity is another one. Proximity as news values means nearness. Nearness. It means nearness. Nearness. An event, an event must have some closeness with the audience before there can be news. Yes. In other words, the event must be of interest for the audience. And I thought there must be a kind of relationship between the event 
and the audience. However, should okay, you must note that there are, there are two types of proximity. There are two types of proximity. Listen again. I I, I didn't know whether you 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 comprehended what I've said. Just watch or listen. However, you must note that there are two types of proximity, namely geographical proximity, geographical proximity, and the other one is um, the psychological proximity. Well, we must start with the geographical proximity. This is a physical proximity. Physical proximity. I said again that it is physical proximity. Physical proximity. It has to do with area of coverage. Who is your audience? What story affects them? And where are the stories located? For instance, the Orient FM has emosted as its area of coverage. Therefore, events in Imo's territory should be covered first before events in Rivers, Anambra, or Sokoto State. This same thing applies to uh, BCA, BCA Radio. Events in Abia should be covered first before those from other states. Now, another one which we said before is uh, the psychological proximity. Psychological proximity. This is also known as mental nearness. In other words, it means covering events in other lands because the audience has particular interest in them. It means covering events in other lands because the audience has particular interest in them. For instance, the escape or otherwise of Nigerians resident in Gaza will be of interest to Nigerians than how the war affects people of Gaza. Another one is uh, the prominence. This news value helps us to look out for events involving notable people in the society. Whether we like it or not, human beings have rankings in the society. Therefore, prominence as a value puts orderly ranking of human beings into consideration, thereby telling us who should be covered first. For instance, the chief of a village should be considered above his subject in the same vein. The world is full of presidents, senators, ministers, governors, and other officials. The ranking of each detects news consideration at any time. I said again, the ranking of each detects news consideration at any time. Any, any event in any university should first of all give prominence. It should give prominence to the reactions of the university community. Then the next one is the consequence. This put into consideration the consequence of events on the public and the society. Therefore, editors and reporters have the responsibility of bringing to the notice of the audience 
of the intending development such as outbreak, rebellion, militancy, and uh, the importance of certain programs such as uh, immunization, HIV, awareness, and prevention. Listed again. Editors and reporters have the responsibility of bringing to the notice of the audience of the intending development, such as outbreaks, rebellion, militancy, and the importance of certain programs, such as immunization, HIV, AIDS, awareness, and prevention. In other words, the impact of an event so the society and its citizens give credence to such events and as such determine what should be covered and what should not. Yes. Next is a human interest. Human interest. Human interest. Come again. Certain news items could be of interest among humans around the world war. And genocide in Rwanda, terror of rebels in Congo, war in Gaza, flood in India. These items arouses the oddest sense of being human and draw the statement, it could happen to me. Just for clarity, I said, these items are the audience sense of being human and draw the statement, it could happen to me. So, those events that draw sympathy from radio listeners and television viewers make such event worthy of being reported. Yes. What they have been reported. Other news values are known as conventional or orthodox news values. Conventional or orthodox news values. They include oddity. This means things that are odd attract audience. Things that are odd attract audience. It attracts audience attention. For instance, insects, incest, 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 making love to an uh, imbecile <laughs> or mad people or animals, matricide, patricide, you see. This kind of things make news because they sound terrible and unbelievable to the ear and mind. Yes. Very clear. Next is novelty. 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 First time happenings also attract attention. Imagine a man being pregnant, like the beauty king man of Venezuela. First achievement of fit etc. Media policy, that's another thing. The ideology of a particular medium can determine what is news for them or not. Consider the type of event a program medium or government owned medium would always cover. Personal idiosyncrasy is another thing. Yes, that is another one. The personal dispositic of a reporter or editor could make or mar a story or an event. Just as in media ideology, they determine what to be covered or published. In that case, what they do not cover is not newsworthy to them. Yes, it's not newsworthy to them. News elements are referred to as the blocks with which news stories 
attributes. They are the blocks with which new stories are built. They constitute the structure or the framework of a new story. Thus, they determine the extent to which an event is made news. The news elements are the five W's and the H. The five W's and the one H. Which means that news must contain who is referred to, what happened, where it happened, why it happened, and how it happened. There is no story possible without all or majority of these elements. Yes. Now let us take a look at the, at the news spec. What do we call news spec? New spec. Out of these elements, a good reporter selects the one he considers to be the most attractive to the audience. In some stories, it could be the where, while in others, it could be the what or any of the other elements. Then, that which is considered to attract the most attention is future in the story. It is the element around which the other element revolve. In other words, it is featured most and appears. It is featured most and appears in all parts of the story. This future is called the news peg. Let me come again, talk again about uh, the news peg. I said, out of this element, a good reporter selects the one he considers to be the most attractive to the audience. In some stories, it could be the where. Why? In others, it could be the what or any of other elements. Then, that that which is considered to attract the most attention is the future of the story. It is the element around which the other element revolves. In other words, it is featured most and appears in all parts of the story. This future is called the news peck. The news peck. Sources of news. Oh, it says source of news. Source of news. Uh, the principal source of news in broadcasting is the reporter, writer. Yes, the reporter is a the reporter, writer. Reporters may, however, require additional reporting, especially when they are deemed not complete or particularly accurate. Reporters may, however, require additional reporting, especially when they are deemed not complete or particularly accurate. Therefore, to be considered complete, good news stories should inform the audience about the news elements. For instance, assuming you know when it happened and where it happened, and how was involved. It is not yet complete because you don't know why it happened and how it happened. Additional reporting and verification will help the news writer provide the answers to the two questions so as to make the story complete. Another source of materials is the mark of all past stories. The mug of all past stories. Mug. 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 Mug of all past stories the organization may have. The electronic mug will have audio and video materials that can be reused. But if there is none relating to the specific of story, 
stock footage or audio tape can be helpful. However, make it clear the stock material. Yes, make it clear the stock material is important. So that is it. That is it. That is it. Okay.